What's up boys and girls, Craig Lopez back once again with another tutorialism and today I'm going to show you how you can set up your push to to send MIDI into another DAW so you can take advantage of things like clip control and drum pads. So in order to get the push to send MIDI to another DAW, the first thing you're going to need is some kind of virtual MIDI cable. There are a few free ones out there for PC. Today I'm using this one by Springbeats. If you're on Mac, there is an inbuilt function in the operating system. I'll leave a link in the description below on how to set that up, as well as a link to this Springbeats virtual MIDI cable. Once you've got the virtual MIDI cable installed on your system, the next thing you're going to need to do is configure Ableton to send MIDI into that virtual MIDI cable and then for your host DAW to receive that MIDI. So in Ableton, what we need to do is go to Options, Preferences, make sure we have this Link MIDI tab highlighted, scroll down to the Output section and just make sure that the Track On button is highlighted for all of the MIDI cables you want to use. In my case, you can see I'm using this Springbeats and I have eight virtual MIDI cables. I'm just going to go back into Cubase and to set up the incoming MIDI, what I need to do is go to Studio, Studio Setup, click on MIDI, MIDI Port Setup, and on the Input section, just make sure where it says Visible that you have those boxes checked. Then we need to set up a MIDI channel in Ableton to send the MIDI and a MIDI channel in Cubase to receive that. So in Ableton, you can see on this base channel here, if we click on the input output section, just make sure that we have MIDI 2 and then to the MIDI cable that we want to send it to, in my case, Springbeat MIDI 1. And then in Cubase, I'm just going to select my retro log channel and on the MIDI input, select that same MIDI input cable. Now if I go to my push it will be sending hopefully MIDI to Retrolog and then we can just use the push as we would do if we were just using it regularly in Ableton. We can use this scale function so right now it's in C major. Change it to A flat Dorian. We can also use the step sequencer on the push. So if I click on layout twice, remove notes, change the length and the velocity. Now, if you want to use the drum racks, there is one extra step. So I'll show you how to set that up. So I'm going to be using it to control Groove Agent and Cubase here. So again, on the input channel, I'm just going to set that up to the MIDI cable I want. So I've got that on V MIDI 2. And then in Ableton, what you need to do is set up a channel with a drum rack on, so just an empty drum rack. Now you can see on the output section that you can't send MIDI out of a drum rack. So what I've had to do is set up an additional MIDI channel. And on that MIDI channel, I'm taking MIDI from the drum rack and then I'm sending that to my virtual MIDI cable. And yeah, that's how I'm taking advantage of the drum rack. And then we can see that the Drum rack is now controlling Groove Agent. So because I'm using Ableton in rewire mode, we can still use the push to access more or less everything within Ableton itself. So let's say I want to add an audio track. I can just go to Add Track, select Audio, go to Default Track, Load that in. Now, because this is rewire, I need to make sure that the audio is rooted into Cubase. So we need to go to audio two, set that to rewire out, and yeah, jobs are good in. 
And of course, one of the massive advantages of using the push when you're rewiring Ableton into another DAW is you don't really have to leave your host DAW to access all the functions within Ableton. So let's say we want to add one of the Ableton instruments. We can just go to add track, go to MIDI track, go to instruments, and let's open up a wavetable, click on load, and you can see we have wavetable loaded up into Ableton there. All right, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Craig Lopez. This has been Tutorialism. Peace.